thank you for joining me, um, Teacher Sibile, and I'll be taking the grade 5 in uh, mathematics. In mathematics, this morning, we are looking at uh, decimals. We are looking at uh, decimals. Before we can look at uh, what I have this morning, I want us to remind one another of uh, what we discussed the last time we met, uh, we met under Desmos. We looked at converting converting fractions to Desmos. Converting fractions to Desmos. And under converting uh, fractions to Desmos, we said this decimals have parts and these parts are known as the less than values. We said they are known as the less than values. So we said if you have a number, for example, 5.32, we said the first number before the decimal point, the first number is a whole number. This number before the decimal point is a whole number. Numbers after the decimal point, you don't say them like a whole number, no. You mention their digits according to their place values. So we said the first one occupies the place value of a tenth, the tenth place value. The tenth place value. Then the second one occupies the hundred, the hundred less in value. So that is how we deal with the less in values. Now, when it comes to converting these decimals to less value, when you see a number that is starting with a whole number, it means the fraction that the number is going to have is supposed to be a mixed in fraction. So in this case, the 5.32 is supposed to be to have a 5 as a whole number. It's supposed to have a 5 as a whole number. The 3 2, the 3 2, since they are 2, it means it is going to have a 100 as a denominator. Then the 3 2 itself is supposed to be the one to the numerator. That is how we convert uh, decimal numbers or uh, to, what, uh, to fractions. If, for instance, it was 0 0.3, 0 0.3, they tell you to say, can you convert this to a fraction? It simply means this 0, there is nothing. Why? Because it is not a whole number. It is not a whole number. The 3 is under the tenth, the tenth place value. So we ignore the 0, meaning this 3 will be the what? The numerator. And because 3 is occupying the tenth place value, it is going to have a 10 as a, the denominator. Once you do it in such a manner, it means you have converted the decimal number 0 0.3 to a fraction. And if you look at this fraction, it is a property fraction. Why? Because it, it is having a smaller numerator and a bigger denominator. We are not dwelling so much in uh, converting fractions or decimals to fractions today. We are going to look at uh, Addition of uh, fractions. Addition of fractions. Uh, sorry, not fractions, but uh, decimals. Sorry for that. Decimals. So much fractions in my head. Okay. Uh, the same way that we can add fractions. We can as well add what uh, decimals. In the same manner that we can add fractions, we are saying we can as well add uh, 
fractions. Now, to add decimals, we use the vertical addition. To add decimals, we use the vertical addition. So, to add decimals, we use the vertical addition. Vertical addition. Some of you might be asking yourselves to say, what is this vertical addition the teacher is talking about? Vertical addition involves lining numbers according to their place value. So it's saying this involves writing digits in their place values. This involves writing digits in their place values. Let us look at uh, some examples. Let us look at some examples. And the following. So here we have 15.13 So we said we add using vertical addition by lining up each digit according to its place value. How are we going to add that? How are we going to add that? This is how we are going to do it. We will get the 15.13. We write it on the top. We say 15.13. Like that. Then, you, so 15.13, you write it on top like that. Then you get the 19.63. You write the one just under one, nine under five points. You ensure that the points are all lining up. Six should come under one in that manner. Then we are going to have what? Three. You get your ruler. That so just like uh, we do with normal addition, the addition that doesn't involve decimal points, that is how we do even with the, the decimal numbers. What does that imply? You begin with the very far right. You begin with the very far right. These are hundred place values, then the ten place values. The decimal point, then these are ones, these are tens. So we will start with the hundred place values at the far right. We are going to say six, uh, three plus three. Three plus three is going to give us what? Six. It's going to give us a six. We are done with that. Then we say one plus six. One plus six. It is going to give us a 7 in that manner. Then the decimal point, decimal point. You ensure they are in the straight line. You ensure that they are in the straight line. Then you say 9 plus 5. 9 plus 5. It is going to give us what? 14. 14. We write 4, we carry 1 forward. Carry 1 forward. Then we are going to say 1 plus 1, it is going to give us 2. Plus this 1, it is going to give us a 3. So, 15.13 plus 15.13. 19.63 it is going to give us 34.76 34.76 so that was our very first example now there are certain times 
where you are given numbers that are not complete. You are given numbers that are not complete. For example, you can have 254. 254.3 2 plus 54.21. Okay? You will discover that uh, in the first decimal number, you are having three digits before the decimal point. You are having the ones, the hundreds, as well as the, uh, the tens, as well as the hundreds. The ones, the tens, as well as the, the hundreds. When you look at the second number, you are only having the ones and the tens. So there are certain instances whereby you can be told to add a number in such a manner. There is no problem, there is nothing difficult about it, uh, adding such a decimal number. What we are going to do, we will get the biggest number. This is the bigger number because this is 254.32. This is in 34.21. So we will get the 254 and write it on the top like that. 0. 0.32. Then we come to the second number, which is in 34. Now to ensure that you write this number correctly, put a decimal point in that manner. Then you get the ones, four ones, it should come under this other four ones. You put it straight, let us put it straight, so it will come under four ones in that manner. The three tens should come under five tens in that manner. Uh, I mean, three not five, three, the three tens not five, under five tens in that manner. Then these two are just the same. The two will occupy the tenth place in value. The one will occupy the hundredth place value in that manner. You get your ruler, you get your ruler, you need to draw the line. You need to draw the line. Then don't forget to put the addition sign in because uh, that is what we are doing. That is what we are doing. So to add, just like we did, I'm pretty sure where you're watching this video from, you are able to guess where we are starting from. We start from the far right. Always start adding from the far right. In this case, we are going to start with the hundred plus A value. We are going to say 2 plus 1 it is going to give us a 3. Right. 3 plus 2, we are supposed to get a 5. The point must be straight. You put a decimal point, then 4 plus 4. 4 and 4, it must give us a 8. We go to the tens, under the tens we are going to say 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3 is going to give us 8. When there is a space like this, there is no number, there is no any digit there, what it simply means is that uh, there is a 0, but we cannot put that 0 in front of these other digits. So we will not say here since there is nothing, it means there is a zero. So we are going to say two plus zero. Two plus zero. We are going to get what two, two in that manner. So the number, the number two hundred fifty-four point three two. Two hundred fifty-four point three two plus 34.21, the answer is 288.5.
288.53 Now, you may ask to say, but sir, what are the steps that you are supposed to follow when you want to add the decimal numbers? What uh, steps should you follow if you want to do a thing to add the decimal numbers? Here are the steps. Here are the steps. Number one, we are saying write the numbers down one under the other with decimal points lined up. So you write your numbers in that manner. One under the other. So one, it should be there. Nine under five. Six under one. Three here under that other. Three. Then ensure that the decimal points are lined up in that manner to ensure confusing them. Step two. The second step is that you add the numbers using vertical addition. So you add the numbers using vertical addition. Where do you start from? Do you have to start from anywhere? No, there's a golden rule that you're supposed to follow. You start from the far right. Very, very far right. So in this manner, we are going to start with the 3. 3 plus 3, it will give us what? 6. 1 plus 6, it should give us 7. The decimal points should be lined up in that manner. Then you come here. 5 plus 9, it must give you what? 4. Uh, it must give you 14, but you are not going to write the whole 14 here. The answer is going to be wrong. So you pick 4, you write it there, that's why we are having 4. You carry the 1 forward. So you carry the 1 to the next place value like we have done. Then we are going to say 1 plus 1 it is going to give us 2, but that is not the end. There is this one that we carry forward. So say 1 plus 1, 2. Plus this one, it is going to give us a 3. So when it comes to adding this one numbers, boys and girls, wherever you are watching me from, that is the step that we take. That is how we add the small numbers. Just to go through, to add this one numbers, we use vertical addition. To add the, uh, decimal numbers, we use vertical addition. How do you go about with vertical addition? How do you go about with vertical addition? We are saying you write the numbers down, one under the other, one digit under the other, like we have done here. With the decimal points, we call these as decimal points. With the decimal points, lined up in that manner. The second step now, you use vertical addition, where you start adding from the far right. By so doing, you will be able to find the, the correct answer. So, at this moment in time, I'm going to present a short exercise, which I will require you to do in your exercise books. So, we have a very, very short exercise which you have to do in your exercise books. Ensure that uh, you do the work just like we have done together. Ensure that you do the work just like we have done together. Okay, so as, as promised, here is a short activity which shall require you to do. The instructions are that in, add the following, add the following. Number one, 4.8 plus 7.5. 4.8 plus 7.5. Number two, 25.34 plus 14.25. 25.34 plus 14.25. Number three, 20, uh, 254.01 plus 73.34 254.01 plus 73.34 uh, number 4 
635.45 plus 342.53. Last but not the least, 724.24 plus 35.6. This video was brought to you by Fountain School. Thank you for joining me.